Hello there, God bless you. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. God says you are a different kind of woman. I mean, it is totally different about you. And sometimes people wonder if you have a life. Like, do you really have a life of your own? And what you don't understand, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is still brooding on this word and giving me insights. What you don't understand is that this particular part of you, this particular aspect of you has saved you and is what is still keeping you till now. This prophetic word is for someone. You are, these are the things that are peculiar about you. You are very kind and generous. You are very kind and generous. You are given to charity. You don't like to see people in pain. You don't like to see people suffer. You are always ready to help. Even when it is your last, you are always re ready to help, giving out to people. And what you don't know is that this act has saved you. You were supposed to be gone long ago. What the Lord just ministered to me while I was, while I was um, about to give this prophetic word is that you were supposed to be dead a long time ago, but just because of this act of yours, it has kept you, it has preserved you. People around you think you are foolish by doing the things you do, by reaching out to people, helping, doing charity, going out of your way to help people physically, financially, emotionally. You're always trying to see that people around you are okay. People think you are stupid for doing that. You help out even financially. I mean, you do all you can in your power to make sure that people are okay. And some people think you are stupid. They don't know that this very act is what has kept you alive till now. The devil desired to save you like wheat a long time ago. But your act of kindness and generosity has kept you up till now. When the Lord gave me this prophetic word, one person in the Bible came to my spirit. When he dropped this word, it was Dorcas. God said, you are called after the order of Dorcas. Dorcas in the Bible was known for her generosity, her kindness, her act of charity. The Bible says she went as far as making clothes to the, for the believers, giving them clothes. She was known for her kindness, so much so that when she died, the people cried to God. They cried for her sake. They cried and then employed the Apostle Peter to pray for her. And I think the miraculous was activated cheaply because of the cry of the people. They said, not this one. She was equally known as Tabitha. They said, she, Tabitha cannot die like this. Because of her act of kindness, one good thing about being a giver, being a generous person is that many people pray for you. Many people pray and intercede for you the devil cannot just get rid of you like that as a matter of fact even witches and wizards cannot easily kill you because they benefit from you i had a man of god share a, a story one day and he said one of the reasons why he is still standing strong is because even the witches and wizards in his village they pray for him because he sends their children to school they cannot afford to have him dead so imagine maybe even in their witchcraft coven there's always a fight they are like let's affect this man of god and others are like don't dare it if he dies today my children will not be able to go to school there is an extent to which your act of kindness preserves you your act of kindness saves you from the hands of evil people Maybe you are watching me and you are not generally giving because it is a ministry, you know. There are people who are called after the order of Dorcas. They have that Dorcas ministry. They are so selfless. They are all about people. But maybe that is not your ministry. Maybe you are called into something else and you are watching me right now. It is very important you incorporate kindness into everything you are doing. It is very important you incorporate act of charity we are all called to good works we are all called to be our brother's keepers yes there are people which it is the foundation the core value of their life but everybody we should be one another's keeper looking after people around you looking after people the best way you can 
It must not be financial. It might be emotionally, psychologically. You are there for them. I mean, just be giving to an act of kindness to the people around you in the best way you can. And I assure you, it's going to be an act of preservation for you. Hallelujah. Did you receive this word with gladness? May the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you.